One thing that has uh, stymied me as we've learned about soybean cyst is part of the environment and the differences. Everybody has conditions that could promote the nematode. So there's no field that has a soil type or a weather type or anything that's going to protect them against soybean cyst nematode. It really likes hot, dry growing seasons and we don't know why. Again, doesn't mean that it doesn't reproduce in wet years or average years, but it goes to town like no other in hot, dry years. The other thing that it really, really likes is high pH. Do we see any problematic or any potential issues with using certain cover crops? We have tested the most common cover crop plants in the greenhouse and found none to be hosts for soybean cyst nematode with, with no exception, none. But after that study had ended, we uh, started to hear there's an effort in Iowa, I don't know, maybe other states and maybe you've heard of it, of growing pennycress as a cover crop. Well, it is a good host of soybean cyst nematode. So I'm really nervous about the prospects of farmers purposely seeding down pennycress as a cover crop in fields with SCN um, because it's known to be a host. <laughs>